We often get questions about how much we study at medical school on a weekly basis. Our usual week vlogs are more relaxed and we manage to sustain a healthy work-life balance, but this week was a very different story. Continue watching to find out how much I study during an intense week at medical school. Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to Journey to Med. If you're new here, my name is Hazar. My name is Liddy. And we are two third year medical students. And today, as you can see, we're in the car, ready to go to uni. Guys, it's too early for this. It's way too early. It's like 7.55. As you guys can see from the title of today's video, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how much I study in a week. I feel like we always get questions from people asking, you know, how much should they study? How much do we study? Obviously, our week definitely varies depending on the module we're doing. The module module we're doing and the type of content we're being exposed to yeah so for example this week is hella intense we're starting a new module called cardio spiritual that's all about the heart so we're going to have quite a lot of work to do and i think it's important to give you guys a variation because like in our normal week vlogs i feel like we don't do the minimum but to others you know we do like quite an adequate amount yeah. of work and we balance it with you know other fun things in our life but this week is going to be quite intense so we're just going to take you guys along you know how many hours we do on a more intense week if yeah. that makes sense once we were done deeping how much work we had to do this week we drove to our mile end campus this morning we decided to work in the grand cafe which is one of the cafes on our campus So guys, this week we're actually starting a new module called Cardio Respiratory and I think we're learning all about the different diseases of the heart and lungs. Honestly, I don't know what we're going to be doing. I'm just going to go with the flow. But my first lecture for the day is called Pathology of the Lungs. And like I said earlier today, I'm going to be timing how long it takes me to do each of my lectures so I can give you guys a realistic idea of how much I study each week. So I've got my phone here. I'm going to be using the stopwatch to determine how long it takes me to do each of my lectures. Let's get started. What are you doing? I need to do my no. lecture. Your hair how it works. You're fake. She's a fraud. This is how her hair works. <laughs> anyway, I finished my first lecture for the day. Here are my notes, and it took me. One hour and 38 minutes. We get it, we get it. I had no time to waste, so as soon as lecture one was finished, I jumped straight into lecture two. After finishing lecture two, Lydia and I left the cafe and went on a short break. A walk and some selfies later, we made our way to a different study location on our campus to continue with our lectures. After eating a quick snack, I started lecture free. Guys, you won't even believe what just happened. So we just finished. I just finished another hour and a half of going through the live lectures. I'm literally knackered. I want to go to bed. I'm hungry. But I was like, do you know what? At least my live lectures for the day are done. And then the lecturer said, enjoy your break before the next lecture. Turns out there's another... <laughs> there's, an <laughs> there's another hour and a half of live lectures in one hour. I wiped my tears away and reluctantly started lecture 4. It's another hour and a half later, just finished our second, our third, I don't know, our final live lecture for the day. I'm gonna go get some food and then we'll just see what happens. <coughs> I'm not making any promises. <laughs> 
but let's go get some food guys we're tired yeah so we're, we're tired we're tired we're drained we're annoyed at the cafe excuse me we can't get food and to be honest i can't be bothered to go back to the same study room like i just need a new change in scenery so i think we're just gonna go home and just individually finish our work at the comfort of our own homes with hot food because like i'm just aggy i'm so aggy and mm. i'm so tired i'm and just, hungry yeah yeah I got home, had some food, and finally felt good enough to do lecture five. It took me just over an hour, but I've now finished my lecture on hypertension. My lecture is finished, but as you can see, I'm also finished. This module has had an interesting start to say the least. I'm so tired, but I'm just gonna get ready for bed and jump into bed and get ready for tomorrow. But yeah, I don't know how many hours I've worked today. It will probably be on the screen somewhere once I work out the maths. I'm not even making sense. I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I have just finished my first lecture of the day. It took me an hour and three minutes. Ugh, I'm so tired already. I'm literally so tired already. Let's go see what my second lecture for the day is going to be on. Malaria. Cool. Let's do it. Can you see the enthusiasm in my face? There's no enthusiasm. Remind me to not work at home again. This is why I don't do this because I just feel sleepy and I feel tired and all I want to do is sleep and rest instead of do my work. <sighs> Whilst I do lecture two, I just wanted to reiterate to you guys that this week is not a normal week at medical school. Often my work rate and the number of lectures I need to do depend on how intense the week is. For example, in our normal week vlogs, the week is not that intense so I can have a good work-life balance and also get all my work done. So in our normal week vlogs, you will see our normal work rates. However, then we have weeks like this where the work intensity increases so our work rate needs to increase and we need to do more lectures. And then we have exam season where the work rate increases even more but we don't need to talk about that for now guys it's about 15 minutes into the lecture and i just can't be bothered like i just don't want to do it i don't want to do it all i want to do is sleep <laughs> after a lot of procrastination i got back to doing my lecture time for a short procrastination and dinner break before starting my next lecture and that is another lecture completed i am also completed i'm done i'm so done i crossed off the third lecture from my to-do list and made my way downstairs to grab some snacks and watch some modern family as a break from my How long it took me to do a third of the lecture <sighs> let me show you literally one third of the lecture um but my brain is like i'm even struggling to talk i 
can't finish this lecture today. Oh, no, no, no. I can't finish this lecture today. So I think I'm gonna move the lecture to tomorrow. I hope I don't regret this decision. Good morning guys, so I just woke up, I had a shower, I got dressed and today is actually going to start off a little bit different. So Lydia and I are going to meet up with Jess at Hyde Park to take some Instagram pictures and then we're going to go out for food and then we're going to go to a cafe and do some work. So today is definitely a more chill day compared to Monday and Tuesday which I am not complaining about. Um, so yeah, I need to get ready, I need to fix my face and then I'll probably have some breakfast. After putting on some makeup and posing for a few seconds, I went to the kitchen to make some cereal the correct way by adding milk first. I ate it whilst watching some Modern Family yet again, then put on my shoes, made my way to the station, met up with Liddy and went to a cafe to get some work done before meeting up with Jess. Here I was able to finish my lecture from last night. When that was done, we made our way to Hyde Park. The guys were currently with Jess. Jess Ole, guys, check her out on Instagram. <laughs> guys, we're with progress with Jess. Like, no, I can't no, believe it's it. It's an honor to be here, Jess, Ned. It's an honor to be here. <laughs> no, but guys, for all, check out her blogs. They are banging. But yeah. we came here to take some to Insta pics. It's actually a lovely setting. We took some banging pictures and then tried to do the TikTok intuition clap challenge. Turns out Lydia and I are not in sync but Jess and I are. We then changed outfits and took some more pictures before we were finally done. As we just finished taking pictures Bye. and we're so tired. So tired. I need food in my food. belly. Exactly. So we're gonna go eat, which I'm so excited for. Guys, we just finished eating and I'm knackered, Jess is knackered, Lily's knackered. We're just all tired and all I can think about is my bed. But I think we're gonna all make our way home now. Jess has got somewhere else to go because she's a busy girl. I'm going to the cinema. Lily's going to the cinema. Ew. I'm going home. I don't actually know what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I'm doing work. I don't know if I'm sleeping, but you guys have seen enough train clips today. So I'll see you guys when I get home. Jess, do you want to say bye? It's a couple hours later now. As you can see, on the way home, our second train was delayed or canceled, I don't even know. So we had to get a cab home. I got home, I was absolutely knackered. So I took a nap and then had a shower, washed my hair, and now I'm going to bed. No more work is getting done today. And honestly, I'm not mad about it. I've rearranged my timetable and I'm just gonna do it another day because I'm so tired. I feel like Monday and Tuesday were so go, go, go. Um, so today it's just caught up on me, but I look a mess. I don't even want to record for much longer. I'm going to go to bed and I'll see you all tomorrow. Thursday morning started off with me getting ready and making my way to Barbican to go to my uni's library. So guys, usually we get off at Barbican, but today we decided to go to St Paul's and we, we don't know how to get to the actual place, to the actual library from the station. And Liddy thinks she knows, she knows where she's going. And we're refusing to use Google Maps because we feel like we can work it out. <laughs> feel as though which way? The wind tells me. The wind tells you. That we should take Google Maps. <laughs> no, we can figure it out, wait. Oh, I think it's this way, towards the, towards the hospital. Yeah, it's this way. My amazing geography skills meant that we finally found our way to the library. Guys, I'm having to film this bit again. Uh, but I was saying and seen <laughs> that we're in our what is it, Barbican campus in yeah. central London. Beautiful library here. Hazal hates the trek here. It's just I would rather go to a different library, but it's fine. She's just lazy. But yeah, so we have so much work to mash. We're gonna spend a few hours just mash, mash, mashing work. Yeah. Library opens at 10, right now it's like 9.50, so we are yeah. early birds, we ain't playing. <laughs> And hopefully we'll take a break, go on a little walk, grab some food, come back, finish our work and call it a day because I am bloody tired and I need to sleep early today. You guys already know how tired I am. Exactly. <laughs>
I'm sure you all know the drill by now, but I set up my laptop and started my first lecture of the day. Now I've been the rules, and they let her hate it. With a band up on my feet, yeah, I'm chasing paper. I'm a cold stepper, you should know better. They microwave, they gon' fall off like it's November. Liddy and I took a quick cookie break before finally finishing my lecture. Guys, this After starting and finishing my second lecture, I decided to take a quick break and go to Subway to get Liddy and I some lunch. And then it was back to the library for yet another lecture. And then another one. We packed up our stuff and made our way home where I jumped straight into bed. This morning Liddy picked me up and then we met with our friend Shazan. We all made our way to Stratford to study in a cafe called Signorelli. I got myself food before starting my lecture on respiratory failure and sleep apnea. During this time, Lydia and Shazan were also doing their own work. I finished lecture one and jumped straight into lecture two. Guys, I just finished my next lecture and it literally took me two hours. That was the longest lecture I've done this week. Like, I don't even understand. To treat myself after that very, very long lecture, we made our way into Stratford and got some delicious food from the Rhythm Kitchen. Guys, I'm back now and it's time for my very last lecture. <laughs> Guys, I just finished my last lecture and with that I am done for the week. I'm literally so, so tired. I never want to touch another lecture again. But I'm so happy that I was actually able to finish it. Um, I don't even know how many hours this has totaled up to. It'll be on the screen somewhere. But just to remind you guys that this is not a realistic week at medical school. This is not what I do every single week. I, in fact, never want to do this ever again. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me do work. I, I didn't. I feel like this vlog is going to be boring. But hopefully it's not. Do you have something to say? Hey! I said you have to have something to say. This is what I'm saying. The Shah doesn't have anything to say. Shah, do you have anything to say? Just getting on with my work. Yeah. I'm the only one working on this. <laughs> But yeah guys that is it for this vlog make sure you guys like comment and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future and yeah i'll see you all in a new video next time bye